So look, you know how they got that hotel, Cecil Hotel, that's in LA that is apparently one of the worst hotels in the world in, in regards to like conspiracy theories and murders and all that other stuff? Well, yeah, this hotel called Hotel Poseidon totally said, hold my beer. <laughs> I'm not even playing. But nonetheless, yeah, I want to jump into the review of the film entitled Hotel Poseidon right now. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film Hotel Poseidon which made its international premiere this year at Fantasia Film Festival 2021. Now yeah this film is just absolutely weird. I don't know if there's any other word I can use to describe this film but this is flat out weird from all the different things that happen from sometimes even just watching it and you're just completely devastated by the things you're seeing and you're trying to make sense to the events that are occurring and just the really abstract personalities and just the the dialogue between each other it's just oh it's it's crazy it is it's crazy but um so what's happening is you got this this guy Dave who just inherits this hotel. He inherits it because his dad passed, left it to him, and he's trying to make sense of this. And while the hotel's in the worst condition possible, <laughs> like for real, it's like the it's like the hotel is dying, as if it was like some living plant or or organism or whatnot, and it's just completely dying. It's decaying. Like it's it's bad. It's bad bad. And so while he's trying to make do with being now the new hotel owner, manager, whatever you want to call it, he calls it a night, and then somebody knocks on his door and says they want to stay, and then you got this other person talking about they want to throw a party, and then from there on out, the night gets wild, and a whole bunch of crazy shit starts to happen, and there's no other way to put it. So here's the thing. The film is, it's a Belgian film, so it is in subtitles, and that is by I thought it was a challenge trying to keep up with the dialogue because that I thought would have gave me a little bit more indication as to the things that were occurring in the film, but like it was kind of hard to follow, so I kind of was just like, okay, whatever. And then once the events are happening, some of the things that you see, the imagery and all sorts of things, then it takes away from the ability to read the subtitles because there's so much happening on screen that you just like, I need to watch that. So it's a challenge. It's definitely a challenge to try to really understand what is what, what is Dave going through, what is happening in this hotel, and ultimately what's the purpose of the film. Um, costume design. There is like a billion people wearing the most foundation I've ever seen in my entire life. Like everyone's caked up, and maybe that's because this is some type of I don't know, aesthetic to look a certain way, but to me, they all look like ghosts and it's done pretty bad. And if this is, uh, if this was supposed to be like, I don't know, <laughs> good makeup, then it failed horribly. Either way, it's so noticeable and you're just like, what is happening? And like, I understand a particular character as to why it is all over them. But then there's like other ones. I don't know. You, you'll see what I'm talking about if you check out this film. But like there's, it's just so much foundation in this film. It is uncomfortable. <laughs> and like I said, this hotel makes Cecil Hotel look like heaven. Because it's terrible. All the conditions, the water, um, just the, pers the, the, array, the array of personalities that you encounter in, in this hotel is unlike anything else. Like, I understand that Cecil Hotel has murderers and drug addicts and whatnot. I still feel like this is worse. I feel like this is like the ultimate level of fear factor, being able to survive a night. And I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I wouldn't even do it if I was paid. And quite frankly, I really still don't know what's happening. And the character Dave, I feel like he's also going through the same journey of wondering, like, what is happening? So I feel like he is the walking embodiment of what the viewers are experiencing. What is happening? <laughs> 
<laughs> but I will say the one thing that I thought was really good, besides the visuals, I thought the score and the sound mixing was done really well. Really chilling, really heightened, uh, really cool too. So I thought that was one of the big positives in it. But immediately, immediately once the film started, it was a downhill snowball of weirdness. And it never turned back, like for real. And um, it just, it's just interesting because the film does keep, kept my attention for about a fourth of the film. And then after that, I was just kind of like, what is happening? And then the, the final part of the film, I thought the visuals were so cool that I was invested to see where it was going to go. But then it just kind of was just over. So it's an absolute weird film. It is by all means a cult following film. Now, um, the um, th because this is the direct, the, the feature direct, the <laughs> the directorial debut, feature directorial debut, uh, 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 Stefan, uh, Stefan here. Um, you know, I think that you know for a first film, it's, it's not bad on that notion, but it's hella weird. It's hella weird, um, and. Again, it had my attention halfway through, and then it kind of lost me. And then I was definitely lost. Like, I have no clue what's happening, folks. I really, really don't. So it was just weird. It was uh, very unsettling at times. Uh, probably make you a little uncomfortable at times. Like, yeah, it, it goes there. It definitely pushes some barriers in this film. But yeah, folks, this is Hotel Poseidon, a hotel that you definitely never want to stay in. Uh, jump in the comments, folks, if you've already seen this or you're planning to see this. And then let me know your thoughts there. I'll see you all around for more reviews. Thank you for watching, folks.